Hello and welcome to EAFC 24. Yes, we're starting a new youth edition. We are Wrexham and I've noticed there are a few issues uh, with everybody doing a youth edition. I will quickly go to the calendar and we will see. The first game of the season is on the 29th of this month and as we all know we need scout reports to bring in some youth players so it looks like we're gonna have to scrape around everybody I've watched never has enough players the free agency at the start I do believe only gives you five randomly generated young players and your youth team basically give you in the lower leagues anywhere between two to four youth players in your youth setup already so <clears throat> we're probably going to end up with about eight nine maybe ten at a push youth players but we're not in this one um so i have put all of the original players on the transfer list so they all will be going there is two goalkeepers that uh, Wrexham currently do have in on loan seeing as Ben Foster has retired in real life I think he's a good serviceman for the team and that penalty save he made will go down in history for Wrexham it is a shame that I have to sell all these players because I really do like a lot of these players I really do I mean Jordan, J Jordan Davies is brilliant. Elliot Lee is absolutely outstanding. And, of course, you've got the unfortunate accident that happened to Paul Mullen. Uh, hopefully he does get well soon in real life. Uh, it's very tragic what happened. Uh, but uh, Paul Mullen, Oli Palmer, the absolute beast, unfortunately does have to be sold as well. So... There is that. But we are making a youth edition series. We are only allowed to use youth generated players in the team. Uh, whether it be through our youth scouts. Or by uh, transfers, search <clears throat> and other teams that have obviously generated their own youth players. Or just randomly spawned in generated free agents youth players. So there we are. So, what I've done is I have already found five youth players here that are free agents, which is fantastic. They're all 17 years old. We've got Ruben Antwi, a striker, right wing, left wing. I know, right, 17-year-old from Ghana. He does have a play style, basically a trait. Ariel, which is fantastic. There is also Neil Flynn. From Northern Ireland, you can play right back, right wing back, and centre back. Unfortunately, a five foot seven. I don't really think you're going to be playing centre back, buddy. But he does have basically two traits slash play styles: the long ball pass and the block. Okay, uh, we have Conor McLaughlin, uh, a cam and a left midfielder from Northern Ireland, 17 year old. He also has a play style for the incisive pass. Absolutely beautiful. We've got Edouard Toma, or Toma, Toma, I say Toma, from Romania. 17-year-old striker, 5 foot 10. Not too bad. Nice bit of height about him. But uh, that medium attacking work great. Uh, uh, might have something about him. I don't know. We've also got Eric Varga. Can play right wing back, centre back and right back. I do actually like that these two youngsters here, Neil Flynn and Varga, can play on the wings and centre-backs. That's kind of surprising. Four-star, four-star. Not bad, either, but five foot nine. He's got low attacking work rate, high defensive work rate, the youngster from Hungary. Um, so I'm going to look at bringing all of these in. I mean, I'm not going to show you me selling all the players, obviously. You know, we've all been here before. We know how that works. We, we, we'll just try and sell as many of the real players as we can. Wrong one. But yeah, we're trying. So, in the, our actual youth setup for the team, we've got Al Alexander Shevchuk. He's a left-back, right-back. I'm training him to be a centre-back 
because he has 72 in the physical, 71 in jumping, 71 stamina, 72 strength, 74 aggression, and he's got the whipped pass and relentless, so he, will, he is relentless. Having him as a centre-back, I think, would be absolutely beneficial for us. We then have Ikea Marquez, the young CDM centre mid, <clears throat> 17 year old from Paraguay, 51 overall, and overall of Shevchuk, sorry, was 47. And uh, yeah, look at that, physical, 76. He's got good jumping, good stamina, good strength, good aggression. His defending stats otherwise are to be de desired, but... If we've got Shevchuk and Marquez as centre-backs, we can have those other two free agents on the uh, right-back and left-back. I know, right? And then Inaki Serrano. Uh, yes, the young 16-year-old from Spain. He can play as a centre-mid or a CDM. Five-star, five-star. We've really looked out on this. But he's got a high defensive work rate. So I'm currently training him up to be a ball-winning midfielder. I just want to get some of those stats up a little bit better for his uh, pass on the ball and everything like that. You get what I mean. Uh, but yeah, not too shabby. Balance, good agility. What can you say? 49 rated. So right now, what I'm going to do is we are going to promote these young lads to the senior team. I'm going to try and bring in those five players in here from the free agency, like Antwi, Flynn, McLaughlin, Toma, and Varga. Yes, I know, right? So we'll bring them in, and uh, I'll just see who I can sell, and I will see you once we've got those players signed, and we come to the first game of the League 2 season. <clears throat> I'm going to completely skip the pre-season tournament. And honestly, we are just not going to have the players to be able to play out the full full starting youth team 11. We're not going to have enough players. With the three that we've got out the youth team, and these five, we're not going to have enough. So what we'll probably do is we will probably skip the first game of the season... I don't really want to play with real players. I'm. I mean, even if they're rubbish, you know what? We'll sim. We'll do a sim of the first match. But yeah, see you for the first game of the season, and we will sim it because we want them scout reports. So we are back, and it is match day, first game of League Two. We are going to quick sim this match. We do not have enough players. We just don't. But what I'm going to do is I am going to show you where I am scouting right now. I'm going to keep it local. So we are scouting Wales with Gabriel Lucas. And we are scouting England with Mentor Vilu. And we are scouting Scotland for Jens Mooring. I thought do those ones because the free agents already gave us two from Northern Ireland, and as you can see, the manager is Stevie G. I'm only just saying that now. I know, right? <clears throat> but it is what it is. But so far, all the players that we have signed and sold, let's go through it. We sold Max Cleworth, I believe it's Max Cleworth, just say Cleworth, to Salford City for 500. We sold Dolby uh, for 270,000 to Colchester. <coughs> We sold Davies to Lausanne Sports for 610. McAllinden to Mansfield for 195. We brought in McLaughlin. I know, right? We brought in Toma. We brought in Varga. We basically brought in all five of those free agents players. Uh, we got all of them. Fly, get off my monitor. Uh, we sold Howard for 89,000 to Barrow. Uh, we sold Lainton to Salford City for 260000 We sold Hayden to Gazaintep uh, for 680000 
We sold youngster James to Drog Header United uh, for 110. We sold Jones to Wickham for 320,000. I'll tell you what, we're, we're, we're bringing in some money. Uh, we sold Toza to Racing de Ferrol for 260,000. <clears throat> Sorry about this, my throat, all of a sudden, I've been fine all day, and as soon as I start recording, my throat feels like I've just swallowed a rock. Uh, the Bicker Staff, we sold to Vigiel uh, Ball Club to, for 185000 We sold Paul Mullen. I think this is a good transfer. We sold Paul Mullen. He's just gone to Norwich. So he will be in the championship, applying his trade for just over $1.1 million. We've just sold Tony Cliff to Kasim Passa for 350000 so, there is the update on that. <clears throat> Blimey now, my throat. But as you can see right now, we do not have a full team. We've got Antwi, we've got Toma, we've got McLaughlin, we've got Serrano, we have Flynn, Marquez, Shevchuk, and Varga. We need two wingers. And we need a goalkeeper. So hopefully, once we've quick sim this first game, do I want to quick sim it? Not really. But I, I want to be able to play with a full team. And I've seen a lot of people, you know, they will go ahead and they will play it. But the fact that I'm having to play with two wingers, two main people that you, I use a lot, because I normally do wing play kind of style, I'm going to be using them a lot. I don't really want to do that. I want to try and make the players that we've got better. So here we are, there's the team. We are on world class because I have been uh, testing around with uh, higher difficulties and the op opposition just don't cross. They don't cross the ball in. They're running on the wing and they'll just constantly keep working it in. It's like, come on. The only time I've seen them cross the ball in is on world class. So if we do find it too easy, which I doubt we will, because the player ratings we have, then... Eh. And did I just kick on play? I didn't mean to play it. Well, we've got some cutscenes. Steve G getting ready. I do like these new cutscenes. Look at that. Ooh, the player's coming out. Do you know what? We will play it. Screw it. Let's play it. We're already doing it. Let's see what these young lads have got. It bugs me the fact that I'm going to have to use some real players. But we can't help when the games come. And they'll come thick and fast. So, eh. So, here we go. Here's Antwi. Really weird name. Uh, here's Flint. Tim McLaughlin. That was a terrible pass. I have to move my controller out of the way so you don't constantly hear the mic rocking. Jeez, their player's got a fair bit of pace. Johnson there early on the break, but how quick did their player get down the wing? Crap! That was fast. So, all we need to replace is the goalkeeper and the two wingers. And we'll have a full first team. Oh, here's Flynn. Switch play up to that left hand side to Varga. On your bike. On your bike, McLean. You're a real player, buddy. I'm sure he used to play for Wigan. If my memory serves me correct, do let me know. Ref, get out the way. Mm, ref. Costing us a chance there, Ref. Get in there, Marquez. Good save there from the keeper. I do believe that is the youngster that Wrexham have in real life on loan from Arsenal. There we are, hoping to do the short corner. Get your body in on the line and way too easy there for Draper. Number 15. Walsall in the lead in the 13th minute. But I have noticed, if you watch a lot of people play this game, 
the defensive AI is dreadful. I played a fair few games and how easy your defense moves out the way. And that, oh god, when shit passes like that ain't gonna fucking help. I mean, my players are already low rated. You can definitely tell it's a FIFA reskin. Oh, Marquez! On your bike, aren't we? Needs a bit of that physicality. Come on. Wow, you look like an absolute... I was going to say, aren't we? Sounds about right. He looks absolutely tiny up there. And we win the header, buddy. He has. Here's Toma. Toma! Far too long on the ball. I asked him to shoot and he stands there like a leaf blew in his face. Ridiculous. Tell me you need to be doing better with the ball at your feet. You need to react a lot faster than that. I don't know why it dragged McLaughlin all the way through when, you know, you could have just pulled Toma over AI. Come on now. Game, what are you doing? Can I pick... Thank you. I wanted to pick O'Connor. And fuck me, would it let me pick him? Good block, good block, get it out! <clears throat> Hopefully this game's better at clearances. I'm not holding my breath, but... It's like every single year. As soon as the ball's in your rear and you're asking them to clear the ball out, they can click it, kick it like an inch. And I doubt that's going to change. How the fuck has the keeper not stopped that? How? He basically rolled it from his foot to him. How did the keeper not stop that ball? Look, look at that. That youngster's come from Arsenal. How is he not saving that? That is poor. Oh my days. We're going to have a challenge here. The board are expecting us to get promoted. I think they're on fucking drugs because that's not happening in the first season, I'm telling you. Not with the rate, uh, player ratings that we've got so far. More chance of planting fog. Oh, jeez, a conquo. The lone e keeper from Arsenal in real life. And here we go. Here's where they open us up like a tete -tete. Oh, come on. Somebody want to get in the way? Departing like the fucking Black Sea. It's like he's walking around with a black spot on his hand. Get fucked. Get fucked. Look, stop moving my players out the way, game. Fucking hell. I can only control one player. The AI is doing the rest. Do it fucking properly. Jeez. It's moving my players out the way. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't control all the players at the same time. That is ridiculous. 2-0. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> We've got a test on our hands. And I'm not exactly saying Warsaw are going to be easy to beat, because they're not. But having like 40 rated players and the AI basically moving players out of the way. Oh wow, they actually made a mistake. That's not what I asked you to do. But, uh. Flynn, oh, he pulls the ball back, gets past his man. And then all of a sudden realises he's not got any legs. He's asking Lieutenant Dan where they are. He don't even fucking know where his legs are. Come on. Give me this midfielder right near him. Fucking hell game. Picking players. Oh, got too much on it. Way too much on that. I just wanted a sweet little dink in. It's like he's found his legs. Lieutenant Dan must have found them. 
Lachlan. Keep getting in there. Keep running in. Keep running in. Uh, space players? Oh, do you know what? Space! Make space! Work the space! Don't stand there! Fucking hell game. Just a reskin of the same shit. You'll hear me say that a lot, because it basically is a reskin. What have they done that's new? I added some new images. Ooh, cinematics. Ooh. Have they fixed the AI? Have they fuck? And fly, get off my camera. You're pissing me off. As if the AI ain't bad enough. Lieutenant Dan's lost his legs and then found them again. Good ball through his and we Testing the keeper there. What a bad effort. There's Toma. Headed effort. Oh, just over the bar. Real unlucky. I mean, when we get chances, we are doing something with it. It's just defensively. It's poor. Seen better prospects come out of a blind spy school. If you're easily offended, this ain't the channel for you, trust me. Snowflakes. Can't be doing with them. Mama P's just offered to give me a drink. Aww. For anyone that doesn't know who Mama P is, you live under a rock. Oh jeez, here they come again, here they come again, head it away, Varga. Away, mate, away. The fuck was that? Across the face of gold. Jeez. That was a, a good tackle there from their player and off it. And what? Chef Chuck, why was you running away? Stop it! Get help! That wasn't the pass I was asking for, but it's the apparent pass that it gave me. Uh, can we act like we're running, please? Wow, they really the AI really does not like to help you defend. That's like moving your fucking players out of the way, though, doesn't it? It's like Cluedo. The AI knows exactly who's done it, and it's the fucking AI. That's for sure. Jeez. Uh, plays in space. That was a dreadful pass. You did not need that much power on it. It's right near you. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, Chef Chuck. Toma, go, go, go. Come on, Toma. Come on. And, oh, jeez. O'Connor, you're a real player. He scuffed it worse than the uh, generated ones did. That was really, really poor. Post-match interview, what are we going to do? Is it going to go, why did you play so badly today? AI would be the correct answer for that. Stevie G, look, he's come all the way back from Saudi Arabia. Realised he was allergic to sand. We weren't good enough. Uh, where's the one for EA? You don't know how to code. The defensive AI sucks. Uh, player selection, being able to actually use the controller would be nice. I hope the supporters will be patient. They're going to need to be, I'm telling you. Boy. So, first display from Inaki Serrano. Does that encourage you to try more young players? I believe in our young players. Of course I do. It was the real one at the end, O'Connor. He was the one that scuffed his effort. Don't blame the youngsters. Don't blame the youngsters, That's I'm telling you. The AI fucks you over really bad in this game. They really do. Ugh. Oh. Dreadful. Alright, so what have we got? Oh, we've got another play going now. Look at that. Jacob Mendy. Good left winger he is. Oh, I really do that. I really do rate him. Alright, come on. Give me the youth players, please. Here we go. 
The youth scout reports should now be coming through from England, Wales and Scotland. Ollie Palmer going to Reading. I really do like that uh, Palmer and uh, Mullen have gone to high tier clubs. I really do like that. They do deserve it. So here we go. Three monthly scout reports. As I say, Wales, England and Scotland. I don't care how old you are. You're coming in. 17 years old. It was only worth 60 grand. Welcome to the first team. John Murr. My stepdad used to say Murr and he wanted a hammer. Took me a while to figure that one out. Pass me the Murr. Fuck is that? I was thinking to myself, he come from London. It's like, is that slang? Do you know what that is? Fucking hammer. <laughs> there we go, John Murr, goalkeeper. You know, every time he's on the ball, we're going to be doing that now. Murr. Uh, so, River, <laughs> Mama P in the background laughing. Because you, you know it's true, don't you, Mama P? Yeah. It was passing me the moor. Fuck is a moor. Where are we? Do I look like a fucking road map? Yeah, there we go. My Google. Right, so here we go. Reuben <laughs> Clark <laughs> from England. He's six foot one. Welcome to the first team, I'm telling you. Because uh, we're going to need... Oh, Albie Andrews. 240 grand. Mmm... So here we go. Oh, we've got some more players here. Look, we've got <laughs> Curtis Wynn. Does he? We'll soon find out. 250,000. Allen. Yeah, we've got an Ethan Allen, youngster from Wales. And Mama P cannot see my screen. So how the fuck she knew we had an Allen? I will never know. I'm just saying, Dylan Allen. <laughs> Dylan Allen from uh, Sparring DKs. Yeah. Um, Forest Green Rovers. Youth edition, I believe. Do check that out. It was fantastic. So, Ethan Allen. Here we go. 300,000. Mm. Got a youngster here, Kai Bailey. He's 15, so we can't have him in the first team, but hey, bring him in the youth setup. And here we go. Another one, Allen White. Six foot goalkeeper. We're 350,000 pennies. That Elliot Lee. Oh, Shame to see you go, buddy, but... Bristol City, that's actually not a bad team. I'll take that one. Not a bad team for him to go on. Changing the focus for McLean. All right. Calm down. All right, so let's have a look in the Youth Academy. We've got young Andrews. Oh, good for you. I look at the red for physical 73. You could probably be a good left back. Jump in, aggression. Eh. <coughs> right, so youngster win 53 overall. Welcome to the first team. We've got Ethan Allen 57 overall already. Welcome to the first team. We've got young Clark Ruben Clark 50 overall. Pfft, we're probably going to be scraping the barrel with this. I'm telling you. Welcome to the first team. We have Rory Guthrie 47 overall. Welcome to the first team. He knows he didn't give me any defenders. Oh, what trait have you got? Pinged pass for a keeper. Is that really useful? I don't know, but we've got an English, Scottish and Welsh goalkeeper. Let's bring them all in. It looks like Alan White's probably going to be the starting keeper for us. So there we go. Welcome to the first team. John Muir. Welcome to the first team. Albie Andrews, welcome to the first team. Mm. So we should now be able to create a full team. So White will be in goal. Let's just get all these youngsters up where we can see them, just to make my life a lot easier. Andrews, Allen... Uh, good job we've got uh, defenders early on, eh? Right, so O'Connor, nothing compares to you, but uh, uh, there we go. O'Connor for O'Connell. No, that's not what I wanted. What about float your boat? Uh... Alan and Guthrie. 
so right now I do want to train you to be a CDM. Because that's definitely going to be needed. Alanda Clark can play centre mid, cam and a CDM. And he's six foot one. Nice. So is that everybody that is. So the only persons we have is O'Connell, McLean and O'Connor. Young, Lee, Barnett, Fletcher, McNichols, Boyle, Oconquo, Evans, Cannon and Ford. But Oconquo and McNicholas, they can both now be sent back or have their loans terminated because we have Moore, Wynn, Andrews, Clark. But the first team does consist... In between the sticks, we have White at right back. We have Flynn. Left back is Varga. We have she Shevchuk and Marquez at the central defensive role or centre back. Uh, in a CDM, we have Serrano. In the cam role, just behind the two strikers, is McLaughlin. And on the left wing is M Guthrie. On the right wing is Allen. Up top, on the right, we have Toma, and on the left, we have Antwi. So we have a full first team. That is absolutely beautiful. I am really, really happy with that. Got a full swing first team. It's, it's not the greatest. I mean, look, overall, 63-61 up top. That is great. But then we go down and start scraping the barrel in defence. The defensive midfielder, 49. And that's, if now, if you put a minus 7 on that, it's 42. Then we've got Shevchuk, 47. Marquez, 54. Flynn, 61. And Varga. Uh, we're going to be scraping the barrel indeed. But... <coughs> that is going to do for this one. Please get down in the comment section and let me know what countries should we scout once these ones have come back. Let me know and your a scout will be sent to the country of your choice. But please make sure that it is vanilla. It is the vanilla countries. But till then, have a great day. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. See you all then.